Hey guys, um, today we are location scouting. So after my last video, I had a couple people ask me what is the best way to find a new location. I'll just kind of show you how I do it. Also, side note, I am totally alone today. So this is all selfie mode on the iPhone and I kind of like it better than hauling around my camera and trying to figure out focusing. So maybe all of my vlogs will come from my iPhone now, who knows. Okay, so my very first tip, number one, numero uno, is get out there. Um, I think a lot of people try to location scout from their laptops, and there's always those situations where we need like a last minute spot and we try to search online, but really the best way is just to get out there and see what's out. Be curious. Drive around until you find a new road, turn on that new road, try to get higher. Um, if you see somewhere pretty, try to figure out how to get to there because chances are you can. I always make sure that I drive a four-wheel drive vehicle because I can't even tell you how many times I've gotten stuck. So my tip number two is to go location scouting during the time of day that you want to shoot. You see exactly how the light is um, and you don't have to guess about when to tell your clients to come or when you're going to start shooting. So you make sure that you have good light in the location. I'm going to show you all this spot. It's so pretty. I drive in this canyon a lot. There's a main road right there. Um, so I drive in this canyon a lot and I always see this road that that giant semi truck is going on. And I've always wondered like, where does that lead to? So I drove up it. It's a logging road and I came across this beautiful panoramic view of the valley. Um, so yet again, that's just taking somewhere that I drive past a lot and I was curious of where it led to. So I followed that and I found a pretty dang good spot. So I am back in my car for tip number three because it is so, so cold outside. This is the most important tip. If I could have told you only one thing today, this is easily hands down what I would have told you. And that is know your style. So, when I first started shooting, um, I was shooting all these other places I knew other photographers were shooting in, and I went to fields, and I went to parks, and um, I mean, I got okay shots, but never was I, I never felt like, oh, this is money, like this shot is exactly what I want. I could never get my shots to look like I wanted, and I didn't understand why. I had good gear, I kept buying more gear, and it wasn't working. I um, watched tons and tons of YouTube videos and I had all these photographers that I followed on Instagram and I just was in love with their work like if I could shoot any way I would have shot exactly like them and I bought all the presets and I just I literally tried everything to try to get my photos to look like the inspiration I wanted um, and then it finally clicked the reason I wasn't getting photos like them is because um, they were shooting on the edges of cliffs. They were shooting at the tops of mountains. They were shooting in vast, beautiful forests. And I was shooting in a perfectly manicured lawn. Now, if that's your style, I'm not bagging on you at all. That is just not my style. So, as soon as I realized that, I started working hard on finding a location. I wasn't okay with shooting in the one park that every person in my area shoots in. So I started going out and getting to the tops of mountains, hiking around and trying to find spots in my area that inspired me. Um, and as soon as I started doing that, my photos changed. One, because the backdrop was just phenomenal. But two, because I was inspired by my own work and I was excited by it. I used the background to my advantage. I learned um, how to make my photos better by using the surroundings. So if you shoot light and airy, if that's your style, you probably want somewhere that is a nice open field with lots of beautiful sky and um, that gives you the light style. If you're more moody, you want somewhere that's a deep dark forest that you can really pull in the darks and the shadows. Um, so just know your style and know what kind of background you're looking for when you go location scouting. 
Um, that way, when you're driving down the road and you see a couple of trees that look like a forest, you can stop and you know that it's going to be what you want. So that is like the biggest thing that will change your work, I promise, is know your style and location scout for your particular style. Side tip that I meant to say this earlier, but I forgot. Um, check out your locations every season because every location looks different in every season and you want to know what you're bringing your clients to. So don't just assume that somewhere looks okay. Um, if I haven't shot there in a while, I always go and check it out about the week before so I can see exactly what it looks like. It doesn't matter where you are, there are beautiful locations everywhere. So you just have to get out there and find one. And that is it for me today. So um, I set out only to find this one location and I kind of had an idea ahead of time of what I wanted to check out. But on days that I don't have that particular location in mind, I will drive in a canyon and I will find a side road and I will find another side road and I will just try to get up as high as I can get. That is it. Thank you so much for following along today. I hope this helps you. If it does, please leave a comment and let me know. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And last but not least, um, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be putting out videos probably every week. So if you have a specific topic you want me to cover, let me know. And we'll see you later. Bye.